Cello. It looks like a little rubber chicken from over here. <laughs> no, 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 she can't. <laughs> <laughs> let me, you have sort of horns? Come here, get close. <laughs> Come over here, baby. Let me look at your neck. <laughs> the fix are running. <laughs> it's only a Thursday, little pick. Right now, you look like a 10. Yeah, yo, you do look good. Right now, he looks like Halle Berry. Girls' numbers change depending on the time, you know? The time and the day of the week. <laughs> are we rolling? We're rolling. All right, so Sebastian, we have established he's a Stan Italian. Yeah. He did not know what a Cornicello was. We're going to start the pod by throwing me right under the bus. <laughs> right under the bus. Bro, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Rob, what do you think about this guy? Sebastian? Yeah, what do you think? Hey, he's a funny man. Is he a Stan Italian? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm he's saying, Italian. I want to let you know right now, this seat yeah. holds a lot of power. Okay. That's a seat of Joe Gambino. Joe Gambino. I feel it. Seat. I feel I'm sitting in him, you know? Yeah. I'm, I feel like my ass is being hugged by Joe Gambino right now, bro. Oh, and it feels good. It's Ladies, I, I recommend. Before, before we started um, yeah. the pod, we were talking about you and Joe have some similarities. Yeah, I have a Kia, but I I have a Kia fucking 2007, Kia Soul, Diet Cokes all over the floor, you know? Scratch marks, because I ride my Kia, you know? He he has a Kia and doesn't use it, you know? Like kids that buy sneakers wait, 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 and don't wear it. <laughs> Nah, he, he just, just rolls up to the penny shop. The Kia but is, is so the, he, that's he, what he's showing off. So you think we're jo- he, he looks you think like he's got a, a worse car than the Kia that he drives around Brooklyn? Yeah, he's got a beater and then he's got his Kia. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, this is huge Joe, acclaim. Joe, Joe this is, huge is the kind claims. of guy that like will wash the Kia like mm-hmm. four times a week. There's like certain guys that really take care of the uh, car. Oh, yeah. He's one of those guys that really takes care of his car. Yeah, that's good for him. When, when Nico recorded him, he's like, my car's so filthy. I'm like, I got bird shit on mine. Oh, yeah. You, it. you know what I love? When a girl comes over, respect. Uh, <laughs> first, I love and that. she shits on your car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, a girl comes over, and you cleaned up before she came there, and then you're like, oh, sorry, my place is a mess, and it looks nice as shit. You go, I'm fucking class it's right ni- now. It's the nicest it's ever looked. <laughs> nicest it's ever. And I go, Jesus no, Christ, my fucking mess. place is a disaster. What yada, is yada. like? Cleaning up consists for you. Oh, never! I've never dusted in my life. Have you? Hell no! I've never dusted. Are you kidding me? My mother would smack Wait, me. Let's see. My grandmother girl- would come back from the grave and she go, "What the fuck is wrong with you, <laughs> Dustin?" But what What's cleaning up before a girl comes over for you? I is put it? like the clothes in the hamper. In the hamper. See, that's I put simple. all the papers in a pile. Papers in a pile. Papers in a pile. Papers clothes in, a, in the hamper. Papers in a pile. I don't really make clothes a bed. Clothes in the hamper. Do you make the, the bed? I am class. I change the sheets. You do? You cheat. That's a what? lot of work. No girl is going to come over and see another girl's hair in my bed. Oh, that's good. Oh, so you have multiple? I have multiple sheets. Comedy's doing good for you, huh? Yeah. No, multiple girls. Sheets, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> sheets, we got thousands. Right, let's brag, bro. <laughs> uh, my sister used to work for Ralph Lauren. I got multiple sheets, bro. It is what it is. You got designer sheets. Yeah, I got soft. You don't have you don't have 1994 New York Knicks sheets. Nah, nah. I got no. Please, it was X Men, and there was a. F- no, no. <laughs> that was X Men, and Jesus Christ, Storm was uh, so hot. And I'll be a little kid going to sleep. I look on the left of me. I see a Wolverine. I turn over. It would just be Storm's titties, right? So My you, you, you kiss Storm to sleep. A hundred percent. As a little boy, I had Storm on my pillow. I'd just is, be like sleeping like that. I'd be like, good night, baby. These sheets have holes in it. No, <laughs> shut the hell up! Shut the hell up! Shut the hell up! We're classy. So listen, I don't even know if I gave you guys a proper introduction. Please, please, please. We got please. Sebastian Connolly, right? Connolly. Connolly. Yeah. I'm Jesus. Italian. I can't. What the fuck is wrong? Well, you with look you? like it'll be Connolly, though. I know, but it's an Italian podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's you're literally like... called Grown Up Italian. I literally on the way here, I was like, you know what? This is the first time in my life I won't have to correct someone on how to say my name. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus Christ! I'm fake Italian. Look at you. I know. Can't I even know. say Connolly. I know. Listen, I get I get made fun of all the time for that. But we got Robbie, your partner. Robbie your partner. Nunes. Robbie, my Robbie, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys we have uh, a have podcast, a po- podcast yeah. together. I've been to your live comedy show in of New York. Course. It was a great time. Thank yeah, you for thank doing you for it. Coming you out. Are, we have a New York uh, special guest every month for our comedy show. You came out, you told some stories. It was fucking mm-hmm. tremendous. It's called New York is Phenomenal. Uh, come check it out. It's every uh, once a month on, was it the third Friday of the month? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. September 16th is our next one. And we got a podcast, Loud About Nothing. We do clips every day. We post them on yeah. Instagram, TikTok. Yep. Check yep. us out. Yeah, yeah check them out. We'll, we'll put the link in the description for everybody. Thank you. Cool, cool. Well, cool. yeah, I was like a really big fan when we did the live show. I saw what you guys did. I'm like, these kids are super talented. Because oh, thanks. I could never do improv on that level. So for everybody that's watching right now, what they basically did was 
They interviewed me on stage. Yeah. In front of a, a room packed of people. Yeah. And we spoke about Williamsburg, and he basically reenacted all the stories I said. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. On the spot, we made up like comedic scenes, like SNL or like, but just all on the spot. Is yeah. there any way to prep for that, or do you guys? Wing it. Years of practice. It's like a sport I compare yeah. it to. Like you practice basketball. You learn little uh-huh. skills about basketball. And then the game comes and you play. Uh-huh. Same thing. Like I just practice, practice. You come. Time to play. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, that's good. And then now you're doing a lot of stuff with the New York Post. Too, right? Yeah. I got a show in the New York Post. Stooping where I sit on a stoop and I talk about the new. I can't believe I'm talking about Kim Kardashian's outfits. Yeah. I'm like, who, <laughs> what the hell happened to me? I, I dropped out of engineering school. So basically, and then I'm talking about Kim K wearing leather, being like, I wonder if her ass is sweaty. <laughs> like, what the fuck happened to me? This, this is, is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have been somebody. <laughs> he's full on embracing the Staten Italian. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a Staten Italian basically boy. Basically, every, Always. every dad in Staten Island in the last six months yeah. has been talking about Kim K. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Like, she got BS. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does. She I mean, objectively. You're literally doing what you do every day. I do. I talk about Kim K's ass now for money. Uh, it's tremendous. My mommy is so proud of me. Uh, <laughs> but I am trash. I'm Staten Island trash. I'll tell you what type of uh, part of Staten Island I'm from. South Shore, right? Isn't that where the money is? Nah. Why? It's where the pills are. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's where That's the money where the is. Money. There's, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, it's not, <laughs> there's some Blue Nation. Oh <laughs> uh, no! Oh my God! No, no, no! We keep that. We keep. Ah, uh, no, no, no! It is what it is. We all grew up. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, for the most part. For, yes. R.I.P. Uh, some people are still out there, but uh, so I would play basketball, and I would be like ten, nine, ten years old, and the kids I looked up to. There was one kid who had an Escalade in my neighborhood. I was like, all I want is a fucking Escalade. I can't believe this kid has an Escalade, right? He would ride the Escalade, and one day he, everyone's going, you're never going to believe what Vinny did to the Escalade. You're never going to believe. All of a sudden, we're playing basketball. I hear the Godfather theme song playing around the corner. <laughs> He's the kid installed as his horn, the Godfather theme song. <laughs> Boo, do, 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 a couple, a couple people did that. Yeah. How does one do that? You go to a you no, go to a scumbag you mechanic. Go to mechanic. I don't even know where. You gotta know your cousin's gotta know a guy. Yeah. Got you the- Wait, there's one. What mo- do they change in the car to do that? I have no. I have no idea. I, I don't know. But imagine, imagine there's a horn. Yeah, like some kind of track or a horn. An MP. I have no idea what the new. Car, I have no idea. Now Teslas do that. Yeah, uh, that yeah. you could probably change. But it But that shit's not saving lives. Easily. Someone's trying to cut you off and you hit them with a soft <laughs> doo doo doo. What are no, we talking about? It's vanity here? only. It's, it's vanity a bad only. Horn. It's yeah. a fu- the kid got so much ass because of his fucking horn. <laughs> you never thought That's you could. So oh. I imagine you're catcalling a girl saying, doo doo doo. Yeah. Yo, what's even crazier, the, so you know that song, of course, the Godfather theme course, song. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's like a song everybody knows, but they don't know who wrote it, who. I'm about to tell you. Okay. Okay. My high school band teacher. Played the trumpet, and that's him playing the trumpet solo in the Godfather theme it's song. Not Timmy Trumpets by any chance, is it? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish. It, I wish it was this guy resurrected, called Resurrected. Yeah. yeah, Timmy Trumpets. Nah, it was this guy called Lawrence Lorenzano. LL, they wow. called him. LL Cool J. LL Cool J. And this dude was 800 pounds, and he was so fucking cool, man. You know, he would sit, and he would get there and sit, and he just talk about how he was on the Godfather theme song. So he and went we, every day. At least once a day, he would... He would bring it up. Star. Yeah, he would bring it up every day. <laughs> and then I went to I mean, his... you gotta at that point. You gotta. I mean, he's he only took a job in Staten Island as a music teacher to fucking flex on these little kids, you know? Um, and like I, you'll be, You could be great, but you'll never be as good as the Godfather trumpet. Yeah, not on Staten Island, no. He was a fucking god, man. I'm cursing so much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I mean, um, what, you know, our, our uh, listeners are due for an episode like that. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, You've been yeah. on our best behavior. We have been. Okay. And you brought in some trouble today. Yeah, yeah. You brought in a little you know, trouble. Joe, Joe Gambino hasn't been on for a couple of weeks. So okay. Of course. Right. Beautiful. To bring that kind of energy. Uh, so, and I, he he passed away when I was in school. I swear to God, I went, I went to his um his funeral. You've never seen nicer cars pull up to a funeral it was 
packed. St. Joseph, St. Thomas, of course, you know, Staten yeah. Island, right? That's where I played CYO basketball. If you played CYO in the C League in 2001, I'm still coming for you, okay? <laughs> Holy child, I'm you, coming for you, you little bitches. You um, well, yeah, oh, no, power forward. I, I backed that ass up right into these people. <laughs> you know, I was all so, about the boards. Who was the center? If you this were the powerful, who was the center? One kid called Big Mike. Big uh, Mike. And Big Mike, his parents used to have put, to put locks on his on the fridge and the, <laughs> the cabinets at night because Big Mike would savage through them. And then one day we get to practice and the mothers go, get your ass in there. You go run, right? And, and, and then I hear her talking. Big Mike ripped the locks off the fridge to eat food in the middle of the night. Poor kid. Uh, Bro, I, I feel for kid. the chunky. No, I know. Yeah. I mean, you don't got to tell me. Big Big Mike lives. <laughs> I am Big Mike, you know? That's the nice part about Sebastian. No one had to put like an adjective before my name. Okay. No one had to be like Big Seb, you know? Or like, like uh, yeah. S- yeah, yeah, yeah. You were just Sebastian. Wasn't I was just man. Sebastian. A lot of people call me Sebastian, too. What like the my- fuck are you trying to do to me right here now? <laughs> is this real? Or are you just trying no, to flex no, on no, me? When people, when people like, they know my name, they would say Sebastian. Uh, and they would call me Sebi sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah. Do people call you Sebi or no? You know, you, or Seb. A little, people call me Seabass in college. Seabass. Because cool. I was I would be like slamming beers a lot. So I was a big Seabass, <laughs> like Seabass, you know? Um, in uh, junior high, there was, you know, the, ba- the brand Bebe? Mm. Be- oh, BB, BB. BB, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah wait, that's Bebe. I mean, it's the I mean, thing. I mean, it's, bro, it's called are you? I've been lying to my whole life. <laughs> I would say Bebe, be, Baby, Baby. BB. I think it's like a Target, BB. Target Maybe thing. BB. That's kind of like me. Like, nobody knows. I, I, yeah. I used to call it Meme. Oh, used yeah, call it yeah, Meme. Meme. Yeah. Meme. <laughs> Meme. Yeah, it depends. You know, you that funny Meme? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the same thing. It depends how trashy you are. If you're trashy, you make things fancy, you know? Because it's Ralph Lauren. So but I say Lauren. Yeah, I say okay. Bebe. Okay. So people so, used to call me uh, Sebebe. Sebebe. <laughs> so what do you call Bud Light? Bud, Bud Light? Why? What do you call? Bud Light there? Bud Light there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bud Weezer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get a little Bud Light there. Uh, Michelob Ultra. <laughs> so the first thing our followers are going to think when they see this podcast. Yeah. They're going to really ask if you guys are a time because they're critical of that. Oh, I know. People, you know what? People are always like, he's not even from New York. His accent's fake. That's what they say to you? Yeah, all the time. Like TikTok? TikTok is always like his. There's, there's savages on TikTok. I can't believe. I don't know what else to do. I, they're I, the meanest people in the world. I don't know. I, I suffered through Staten Island and I can't even say I'm from New York now. Well, Fuck. if you say you're from Staten Island, they're like, okay, that's why. I know. I say I'm from New York like a <laughs> I lie. <laughs> from, so you're like those girls that put in their descriptions like New Jersey slash NYC. Oh, uh, like, no, see, I'm not like, that bad. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Nah, Jesus. I mean, that just means Hoboken. <laughs> That means, yeah, that, no, that's, that's what it Jersey means. City. Yeah, that, that it means, means Jersey that City means or Hoboken. Like Sixteen dollars yeah. to get into the city. Yeah, yeah. 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 or yeah, I live in North Jersey and Uber in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I had one boy that used to get all hyped. He used to be like, "Yeah, we're going out tonight, Tri State." <laughs> Wait, to what? Tri State. What does that mean? Like the Tri State area. area. I've never heard that. You never so on the radio. Like, is my Tri States in the building tonight? Yeah, like, yeah, because it's like New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. Did you have one representative from each? Yeah, we would have. I and guess you, it was a, oh. like a boy band. It was like yeah, we were the tri state. Right, all right, this is specific. Yeah, we're the Avengers of forties. Connecticut, New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, we would smoke Sad blunts and drink forties in the park. <laughs> the tri states. The tri states. Yeah, that's actually super wild. Yeah, but I am Italian. I'm half. Half Italian, half half Swedish. Okay, you're fancy. Yeah, you think that's, that's what fancy? Like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Uh, I'm more than half Italian. Both my grandmas are 100 percent Italian, and then my one great grandmother was also 100 percent Italian. So I'm five eighths. Five eighths. <laughs> that's how you know Italian is fucking no, the best. Really, yeah, that's how you know Italian is the best because everyone it's wants to be three fourths though. No, nah, greats, greats. It's the great my great grandma. Yeah. Okay. So on my my dad's seventy five percent, my mom's fifty percent. Bust out the calculators over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't I know. I've never done that. a 23 and me. But like culturally, I grew up because my grandmas were Italian. So that was like, we would have Sunday dinner on Staten Island. I grew up in Jersey, but that was like, I mean, I grew up with like the seven fishes and an Italian Christmas. Like, so most of my so traditions Italian. are Italian. Yeah, yeah, I would say. Yeah, me too. That was the you only look like culture. a gravy guy. Oh, yeah, I'm trash. You call it gravy. Yeah, Sunday gravy. Oh, they have a little gravy. 
Yeah, mud all. Come on. Don't, yeah, I say everything like trash. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I do so I wait, do gravy. Has anyone tried to correct you why it's sauce and not gravy? Yeah, I don't listen. Why is it gravy to you? Because it would be like thick. It would be thick. Yeah, there would be like some meat in it or it would be always filled with meat. It was heavy. Okay. How what? long do you cook it for? My grandma cooked it. We would go so to. She'd be like, "I'm making the Sunday gravy." Yeah, every every single Sunday, I ate uh, dinner at my grandma's. Like, uh, we would go after church. We go to my grandma's. We do a whole f- a so day. So you call her grandma, not no, no, right? Grandma. Yeah, grandma. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I go. So to my grandma's gr- definitely step one of gravy. That's the step one. <laughs> nah, no, no. Okay. Not calling it no, no. I okay, didn't know this serious. was gonna be a drag fest. <laughs> no, no, no. Jesus Christ! <laughs> the yeah, first God step, forbid. Was the first, the first step, step is of, grandma. Yeah, the first step um, is grandma. Yeah. Second, second. Yeah, my my parents call it Nona and I say grandma. I mean, I'm like a fifth generation at this point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, it's a little, it's a little tough, you know. But. It, it is tough. All right. So what else? Uh, oh, ask me oh, the questions shit. how you can shit on, oh. shit on my culture, my <laughs> people. Okay. All right. All right. Which which is you're Italian. Generation. I'm Italian American. American. I'm, I'm an American, American Italian American. 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 My, my next question, to be honest, your was, grandkids are okay. gonna be like Sebastian. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If my daughter. You know what's funny? My daughter. My daughter. We always have a joke where I'm like, "How are you Italian?" And she uh. goes, "Because I love sauce." And I'm like. Is it, she goes, gravy's brown. It's like, that's the uh, joke because yeah. she watches my cousin's TikToks and stuff. Sure, uh, sure, sure. So she's super tuned in and I find it hilarious. But the next thing I was going to ask, uh-huh. did you ever tell your grandma, Nonna, mm-hmm. it's not gravy, it's sauce. Did you ever approach her about it? Nah, never. You think we could do that and ask her? I mean, she's dead. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, Jesus. you're dragging a Jesus. dead woman over here. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out. I wear her rosaries every day. No, I have a b- big back piece. I'm from Staten Island. I have Jesus all over my back with my grandma. My Jesus is carrying my grandma on my back. A tattoo, okay. And, and Jesus goes beautiful Sunday gravy. That's what he says in quotes. There's an air bubble of Jesus saying, "I love you, Sunday gravy. Welcome to heaven." And my grandmother being lifted, and she's got stigmata too. This just took a, this just, this just took a crazy turn. Yeah, you know, she's got stigmata. She's got garlic bread sticking through the holes, bro. You know what? How dare you talk about my grandmother like that? She's this married right across the back. street from the Red Lobster. Like like the class we are. <laughs> she, oh. she goes, bury rest me. In peace, rest, rest in peace. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace. No, 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 no. no, my grandma. Don't you? We're not going to change it now, bro. <laughs> We're not gonna change. What's, now. what's the next topic? Here? What's the next topic? You want to talk about my grandpa? No, no, because no. he's dead too, motherfucker. No. <laughs> okay. What do you want to say about him? He fought World War Two. Okay, that's actually a perfect segue. Okay, okay. Because perfect segue from being on the, this podcast yeah, and yeah, yeah. the content we do. Uh-huh. A lot of people say that if your family was here during the World Wars. They would call it gravy because the Italian Americans that lived in America were ashamed to be Italian. So when they would go to the butcher shop, yeah. they would say, I need the meat for the gravy. So that's the point I was trying to get to. <laughs> Jesus and Christ. You, you fell into <laughs> that, bro. You you lucked into that point. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Listen, interesting. That's I... the most awkward thing in the world. What? Sometimes, you know, people come visit a shop that used to look at yeah. me, but I go, how's... This person, it's happened to me like three or four times. Like, yeah. how's your mom? Oh, she passed away. I'm just like, uh, oh my God. Yeah. I don't Sorry. really care. No, I mean, still, I'm in my 30s. That's the worst That's the worst. Of feeling, course, of know? course, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. I'm only joking around. I'm not stressed about it. Yeah, yeah, no. no, I lived yeah. with my grandma. Uh, I call her grandma during like COVID for a little bit. And you moved to Staten Island. I moved to Staten Island. Uh, and it was interesting because she, her name is Giovanna Marino. And she like changed her. She wanted to change her name to Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. She was like, beg. She would tell me, yeah. She, so she goes by Joni her whole life. I know Grandma Joan, 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 Joan. But Joni, like Joan, no J O A N, like an American okay, name. Okay. Um, yeah. But it was interesting that she would be like, yeah. I would beg my 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 teachers would be like, you have such a beautiful name, Giovanna. And I, she was like, I hated it. I wanted it to be. So yeah, it, like she to your point Americans. of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And she grew up in there the 50s. I wasn't allowed to watch The Sopranos growing up. No? Nah. It was a bad rep- representation of Italians. A lot of people were like that. Yeah, my pe- my dad was not about that. He's like, our family's educated. With this is There's so many educated Italians, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, everyone's just going to think the Italians is the mob. As Tony he's fucking, the fucking goat. That. <laughs> he he's is. the greatest television but character of all time. It really did that, though. It did do that. Because especially Columbia, all these days... 
when you think of Italian things, they were always there, like Sopranos guys. Yeah. And my dad would always say that too, like, this is what we are, you know? I know. Like that kind of. Because your dad's but a working man. I think man. it was Matt. Yeah. 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 The working man's a sucker, though. That's why we're here doing podcasts. Uh, yeah. that's, that's why we just slam sandwiches and chit chat for a living. <laughs> and talk about Sunday gravy. Oh my god! I've seen Lorraine Bracco naked. Is this the, that type of podcast? How did you do that? She's got OnlyFans. Yeah, no, Lorraine no, no, Bracco. No, no, I'm, I'm here no. to plug Lorraine's OnlyFans, no. bro. Yo, no, I no. swear to God, it's twelve dollars to join, seven dollars for every pick that you want to no, see. Tell the story. Tell the story. Story. Yeah, uh, I, need know, I need to know the story now. Uh, so basically, I went to go see The Graduate on Broadway, right? Um, if you don't know, it's the movie with Dustin Hoffman, right? Where he hooks up with an older woman. Okay. She played the older woman on Broadway. And my family knew someone that was in the place. So, and my parents were like very like theater people. Like we go see theater a lot, so, right? We go to the... Should we hold for that? Yeah. Fire truck. I'm going to put my hand out just so you know where to cut her. Yeah, just hold your hand up for the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we went, we knew someone in the play, so we went to go see The Graduates. And I must have been 11, right? And there's a scene in it where she does full frontal, Man. completely naked. And Is I got... Yeah, 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 bro, taking care. <laughs> take, she took the D train down to, the first, this, <laughs> to Bay this, Parkway to take care of that shit. <laughs> was this the first like naked woman you saw? Yeah, in, in person, the first naked woman I saw was Lorraine Bracco, <laughs> and no wonder why I can't I can't lock down a girlfriend. You'll never live up. You saw it here. I know it's it's been a fall from grace. That's like your first meal, filet mignon. Like you're just chasing that. It's yeah, it was absolutely yeah. amazing. So. She does it. I never cared about where I sat on a Broadway play until Lorraine Bracco did full frontal. I'm like, I love orchestra seats. You know? <laughs> I'm sitting there. My dad does this. He slams with the eye shutters, right? He, he covers my eyes like this. I'm like, Jesus, Dad, are you really going to cock block me like this? You really? Like, are you kidding me? And then he gives me the boom. <laughs> he gives me the boom, bro. He's like, he's like I'm your father. But I'm also your, you know, your brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of you. I'm your father, but I want you to like bacala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew. He, he's, he's like, he's like, he'll remember this. One day I'll tell this story on the pod. Hey, one day he'll be on a grown up Italian podcast, and this will be a Instagram clip. hundred percent. So yeah, am I Italian? I don't know. My father did that for me to see Lorraine Bracco full frontal. That's classic. Yeah. So she did a bunch of shows like that. Yeah. If, wow. So if you, now you know what you do, if you have a time theater, does she still do those shows by any chance? Nah, 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 nah. God She's forbid. got a lot of money. No, it's funny because we did um, an event. I'm not even gonna shout them out because they ran by gypsies, but um, <laughs> no she was shout a out. Main host. <laughs> oh really? Okay. And she's great. Yeah. She's a sweet. The line for her was like, I can imagine. Course. Yeah. She's amazing. I love her. I love those movies too. Yeah, because she was in uh, Goodfellas. Would you and um? Would you like, you know, take care of business? Yeah. Would the, nah. You and wife it up now? Oh, now, hundred like right percent. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. You take it down. She's got money. Yeah, are you kidding me? Would I got blue shoes, bro. I'll take anyone down. <laughs> 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 what are we talking about? I, I, I'm fucking Barry Bonds, bro. <laughs> this is not a blue shoe ad, by the nah, way. Nah, nah, nah. We're not blue shoes. We go to the doctor to get them. Uh, no. Nah, also, I don't use them. Uh. <laughs> My friend what? has a for sale. Oh, do you? You got a for sale? <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, Lorraine Bracco, she's great. Lorraine yeah, Lorraine Bracco. Bracco's great. Great lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. No more Phenomenal comments. role in The Sopranos. You Sopranos have a, a great show. three women that you would do anything to be with? Like your gold three women? Gold three women. I think we should do like Italian American just to make it uh, fun. Uh, just Italian American? The for, best. For clip. I mean, I mean, Sophia Loren. Tony. Is she still alive? I'm, we're, we're talking, talking about anytime. Older women. Oh, any, no, I'm talking oh. about right now. Oh, right now? Italian with three Italian we women. We can't talk about women that are no longer here, bro. We made that mistake. You already, you, already, exactly. <laughs> you already made that mistake. Uh, who would <laughs> I? <laughs> um, right. Three Italian-American women. Right, that, let me give out some names then. Help you out. Yeah. Marissa Tomei. Oh, of Jesus course. Christ. She's are you like, kidding me? She's got yeah. Me. I went to the strip club that she danced in. Just because I knew she danced in that movie. 
It's like guys that go to the Bada Bing because they're like, oh, this is where the Bada Bing was. So that's like me going to Sue's Rendezvous because Cardi B was there? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. same exact thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You went? No. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, like, it's dropping, no, no, I'm dropping no, no, truths. No, no. But <laughs> if I were to go to a strip club tonight, it would be that one. Okay. For investment purposes. Ah. Uh, fine. You know, you got to buy low. I, that's what you do. So, <laughs> you know, exactly. Jesus exactly. Christ. Uh, so yeah, Marissa Tomei is. She's her and my cousin Vinny might be my pit, like peak woman. Mm-hmm. She might be a lot of woman. Oh Jesus Christ! What other Italian women that are doing it right now? Real quick though, Marissa Tomei when she was talking about the car in that scene, oh, is probably the hottest. That's what like, Joe probably jerks was. off to. Who? Joe. Joe, Joe. Joe G? Yeah. I don't know, maybe. It could be. If she was talking about Kia's. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He just imagines he's dubbed in the word Kia to Marissa Tomei's yeah. speech. What about, it's a like Kia. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't make the panoramic roof in the 2022 Sorrento. Oh, my that God. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. Well, all now right, we know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though she's a friend of mine, friend of the pod, okay, I would have to say Dre Di Matteo, Adrian. Oh, of course. Oh, of, of course. course. Gorgeous. I watched Sons friend. of Anarchy just for her. Okay. I, right. Yeah, yeah. You hit him with the new school. Oh, no, but I, of course, the Sopranos, but Jesus. Soprano, she was super hot. Oh, I mean, incre- I mean also she the- still looks great. Yeah. I was watching her podcast a lot. I mean, she's amazing. Yeah, she's a good friend of the pod. What's oh, she's yeah. Shout out. She'll send her? Yeah, I'll send it to her. Hey, I'm single, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Single well, yeah. anybody who she's grew married? Up in, she yeah, might I be, think but yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Shoot, I'm shoot. open. Shoot, we're, shoot. we're living in Brooklyn. Polly, what's what's the deal? I'll go Polly for her. If you're watching this, it's not too late. <laughs> I think it's more if she'll go Polly. No, nah, I'll go for Polly you. for her. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? All right, who's number three? Who's number two? What what are the uh, other? I give you two so far. I know you did. I, I got. I couldn't even think of Marissa Tomei. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm only thinking of girls I went to middle school with. <laughs> They don't deserve shout outs, okay? <laughs> All on. these x ray technicians now, you know? <laughs> these <laughs> these school All teachers. These x ray te- technicians. They're all pharmacists or x ray technicians. All these setoscopians. Oh my God. Jesus, I'm trying to break my arm just to see what's good with the, with, <laughs> so, with Teresa you from want, middle you school. Have another? I don't know. I, yeah. I guess like Lady Gaga and. Oh, uh, Lady so Gaga. You, you think she's hot? In what? Yeah, I love it. I think I like her attitude. What's her? What's what? what in um, uh, Star I'm is born. Deep. Yeah, 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 yeah. When yeah, she's in I'm the bathtub, fair to moderate. Damn, no Jesus lady Gaga. Christ! I don't know if she's worthy to three. I feel we're missing somebody. We have to be. Ariana Grande. Nah, is she hot. She looks too. She's a little young. She's. Yeah. I'd rather. Yeah, I like. Uh, is uh, that even old enough? How old is she? No, she's definitely old enough. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, she's old enough. She looks <laughs> like she's eight. Like I know that's yeah. what she looks like a child. So I'm not a about that. Young. She's like Raynar Targaryen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hold my game with her own fans. Um, who's another? You looking up other Italian actresses? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I mean Ariana Grande is totally is yeah, totally of oh, age. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's probably like no, she dated Pete. Yeah, but Pete's a savage. Twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. 29. She's older than me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, what are we talking here? She's too old for me. She's too. What are we talking? Ariana's off the list because she's too old. <laughs> no, no, um, no, 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 no. Uh, look, no. Like, look up most beautiful Italian American girls. Yeah. Yeah, look up beautiful Italian American girls. And then uh, my number is 646. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm about that. I always liked an Italian looking girl, you know, growing up. The I dark always, hair features. The dark hair, a girl with more arm hair than me. Oof. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. You braid it, you know? I know, 100%. I, I also like, they had curves before it was like popular. Yeah, yeah. They were like, they before were. Before BBLs. Before BBLs, the, these girls were like. They were eating pasta fazul. I love pasta fazul. You Jeez. look like a pasta fazul kid. Yeah, trash. <laughs> did you ever Did you ever bring soup to lunch as a kid? 100%. Cold. Cold. Cold soup I'd eat you for lunch. You had no thermos. No thermos. I'd do the Chinese food containers. The soup container. Yeah, we do a Chinese food soup container. With soup. So you were that kid that was like bringing lentils. Uh, I wouldn't bring. I would actually lentils was the thing I would bring. But my my grandma made lentils weird. She would cut up hot dogs and put them in there. That's a flex. Yeah, she would cut up hot dogs. A little flavor. Yeah, so we do lentils, celery, 
and then hot dogs. A little flavor never hurt anybody. Nah, and I was like, why don't you do sausage, Grandma? She goes, the hot dogs are good for the lentils. It was also like poor people food, you know, yeah, yeah. like pasta fazul and lentils. That's all like it food is. for the peasants. And that's what, like my family. And was. now it's $50 in some of these uh, Italian know. restaurants. I know. Escarole and beans. Like, what do we do? These are all just mm-hmm. like beans because we couldn't afford meat. Yeah. It was like not like a fancy ass food. Speaking of fancy ass foods, uh-huh. there's a lot of different kind of Italian restaurants. Yeah. yeah. What is your, what are some Italian restaurants in the city you really like? Okay. So there's yeah. different kinds of Italian restaurants to me. There's cool. Yeah. Italian American. Okay. The chicken parm joint. Yeah. We I call, love it. We that. call it a red sauce joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. get you get a the giant portion. Mm-hmm. You're bringing home a plate. You're making a sandwich with a hero bread the next yes. day. Yeah. You I, got love, leftovers. Well, I it, love left. Nothing's better than cold it, chicken parm like, the next day. Yeah, no, no, no nuking. No, you don't nuke that shit at all. You, you leave it like that. Oh my god. My grandma would send a tub away a whole whole uh, home with us with just cold chicken palms. And I would eat them out the fridge. And my mom goes, I'm counting the chicken palms. I go, I know. And I'd be cutting them in half, making them look like they were full pieces. <laughs> but you, have you ever been to one of those like fancier Italian joints? Yeah. Where they got the design on the plate. Yeah. I'm not about that. And they got a little plant in the middle. This if I uh, was it called when um you go to a party and you have the like, thing in the middle. A centerpiece. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Like, basically, plates with centerpieces aren't for me. Yeah, I yeah. don't do that. I need to leave full. I, I've said this. I need... Uh, the whole point of Italian food, if I'm going out to eat to like this trash Italian restaurant, I need carbs and cheese. Just load me up. I want to go home. I want to be a, a rolly... Hurting. Roly poly oly. I want to be in pain, babe. Why aren't you sleeping? I so ate like too good. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> of course I do. So you like the seventy dollars? Oh, you can, yeah, like hundred percent. Get me Carmine's. a napkin. I'm swinging above my head. Uh, you know, Puglia, like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I yeah, like yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. I like to go home and literally feel disgusting and wake up sweating. And just, I mean, not all of the time. Food I like to. Get, I like you to can go to the hospital. It. No, it's all who the overweight people are. Hold on, let me do the fat guy pull. You can't get me a pillow so I can cover up. I feel so vulnerable. <laughs> what about, like, do you ever eat at Carbones? I have once, yeah. What but do you think about it? It's good. I mean, yeah. I also like vodka sauce. But. But what? Yeah, I have one complaint. Okay, tell me I the complaint. This gets out to the bar. I hope I don't lose my reservation plug for saying this. But the amount of spicy rigatoni you get for the price yeah, it's, it's a disgrace. It's it's t- tiny. They think that and they're, they're serving less and less foie and less. gras yeah. with that shit. You know what I mean? This ain't no duck liver. This is carbs. Bro, I went to eat at Carbone with people that are from Italy and Carbone in Miami. And the guy is a chef. And he goes, yeah. this is robbery. Yeah. This is $40. You have nine pieces of rigatoni here. Bro, when the outside, Man. when the outside of the plates is bigger than the actual bowl itself, I don't fuck with that. I always say it looks like Lady Gaga flipped her hat upside down. They just threw a little pasta in the middle. What the hell are we doing? It's all brim. We're eating all brim over here. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is why they, they give the bread. Everyone's like, oh, they give the free thing at the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah you have to. You if have not, to. But you know, then you you know it's it's bad when that plate's done and you get the bread to clean it extra good. That's bad. You know? Yeah, I, I, I don't. So that's a place I wish to... Slightly How bigger much? portions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah. It's a nice smart cup. You know? it's, yeah. it's expensive. I mean, the, the real estate's expensive. You're paying to go for the pictures. You pay, half, the, half of it is for the Insta pick. Yeah, yeah. No, for the Instagram story, you know. So you annoying. Get some prospects. Like, oh, you got you Yeah, got you got a couple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could eat there. Yeah, we could eat there. <laughs> hey, what's up? Where yeah. You go? yeah, I can't take 45. no girl to Carbone. You kidding me? <laughs> Let's eat before we go, though. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, yeah. Before, before. I, I like going out with these vegan girls, bro. Yeah? Yeah. I go, let's go to sushi. They only order veggie rolls. It's awesome. Every roll's $4, no matter what place you go to. Vegetarians are usually expensive to feed, though. Nah, bro. Uh-huh. You're going out with some fucking dinosaurs. Like what are you talking about? <laughs> expensive to feed? Who? What, type of, what type of hippopotamus? <laughs> <laughs> They order like porter port port houses with six sides. Yeah, what are you talking about? The I'll take the porter house with the potatoes and <laughs> nah, uh, every uh, vegan girl I know. The oh the my buffaloes, god, the buffaloes. Yeah, nah. These vegan girls, they eat the two rolls. They they'll go. Oh, I'll get a sweet potato roll, a cucumber roll. I go. You ain't hungry, baby. She goes. Nah, I'm so full. I ate a b- bunch of peanut butter before I came here. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, you say you're so cute. Oh God, you should hear me talk. 
That's what I'm most Italian. Yeah. A girl's shirts come off. I'm a hundred percent. When you're right, we're about to go. I'm throwing out seven Madones a minute. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ! So, I'm so, praying to God. So when you see the how you do, you're like me. <laughs> A hundred percent I go like this You know what I mean We don't fist We oh uh, We're not oh, perverted but, We're just a time No yeah, yeah, yeah. No but that's where I learned how to talk That's yeah. how I learned How to like show my feelings With that stuff Yeah Yeah also they, The Italians have fun words When I was a kid What's my, some fun words Bacigaloop Bacigaloop is an Italian But okay What is it It's It's a made up word <laughs> What? Italian American. Well, I I guess. We, we all know Italian. it. Though. What do you mean yeah, Italian? Yeah, yeah. Then what I is guarantee it? Guarantee you, if we Google Translate Bajagaloop, nothing's coming. Pull up. your phone. Translate Bajagaloop. Let's see what Bajagaloop is. Because one, he says my grandmother's is a piece of shit. Second, he say my favorite word ain't even real. I'm gonna leave you with no it's identity. Fake, isn't it? I, it's a fake. Fugazi you, is Fugazi. Siri? Is Fugazi a real word? How do you word? use Siri? Sabina, right, a, is Fugazi a real word? Fugazi is a fake word too. It is. Fugazi? Damn, all of my favorite words are they're fake. All, all, bro, you gotta realize these are like words in movies. Interesting. Bacha. Yeah, that's what. Brooklyn. That's what I mean, my family's yeah. from Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, my dad's right from Clawson. How do you even spell bacha galoop? I can't. I couldn't tell you how to spell a single okay, Italian so word. Bacha galoop. Yeah. Is a song by by Louis Prima. Oh, the goat, bro. What are we talking here? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm copy and pasting the way he spells it. Okay. I'm going right to Google Translate. All right, so let's it's see. Fair. It's fair. This is fair. Okay. English, did you mean did you mean bachigaloop? It's the same word. So is it <laughs> So it doesn't exist. <laughs> From Italian. <laughs> From Google Translate. <laughs> Fuck maybe, me. maybe in a dialect it doesn't. You know, I don't want to offend anybody. I'm on thin ice today. I'm going to need to go to Ellis Island no, and see good. if my family even actually came here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, all right, what other time were we? We got Bacha Galoo. I fug- Fugazi. Fugazi. Maron. X, X, Maron. Yeah. Basically means like Mary. Like the Virgin. It Mary. does? Yeah. Madonna. Yeah. Madonna. That's how Madonna got her, her name. name. Oh, really? Like a virgin. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so I like, uh, what else? That's very dialect heavy. Really? Yeah, straight dialect. Uh, Fichimeme. I have no idea what the fuck you just said. <laughs> Fichimeme. <laughs> Say it again. Fichimeme. 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 <laughs> Oh, you, you know, bunch of galoop, for cheap men, my model, no. and your fugazi. You know, yeah. I'm gonna get dragged. So, you know, uh, yeah, you're gonna get so dragged. My cheap, my cheap or you just you're not yeah. thinking any more of a case. The way you just sounded would be like an American movie that gets a random person. Hey, let's, we need a guy talking Italian in the background. And he just says that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, really? You just look like so Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Like when they do the Italian. Oh, know? really? Hey, hit me up, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever saw, you ever see when they're like, eh. you ever yeah, saw yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you're not Italian. Your name is Randall. Oh, that, uh, this is a specific skit I'm talking interesting, about. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, no, those are the words I know. I can't believe Bacha Galoop ain't a real word. My dad called me that my whole life. It's a very New York word, but it's not. Interesting. What's a, what's a real Italian from. word? What can I say? What's an Italian word? What do you want to say? I want to proclaim. Something easy to use in a lot of sentences. About? We just want. Like, I want to be. Like, sprinkle it in a lot. I want Actually, to, I got some for uh, you. Throw okay. me one. I got some for you. Please. So I don't know if you know this, but in the Italian American content world, mm. in the Italian American content world, okay. a lot of these guys argue over the how you doing. Uh huh. Who came up with the how you doing? How people are like, how you doing? Like, yeah. how you doing? Okay, I wonder who you just uh, did. So you could go in a town and go, come sta. Oh, come so, sta. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and come you sta. Just be a punch where, like, you say something funny during your shows, and you go, come sta. Touch team, it's your video. Come sta. I love that. Yeah, I'm going to start throwing that down. We got to go like that. Come sta. Maybe at least three of them. Yeah, 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 there you go. There you go. Amazing. Come sta. Amazing. <laughs> Listen. Look at me. I came half Italian. I'm leaving full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You basically nah. can't put cheese on your pasta, on your seafood pasta anymore. 
I, do, I still do. You do? Yeah, my dad My dad doesn't let me put it on the scungeal. He, he refuse it? Yeah, he refused. But you still try? I try. He says only red sh- uh, pepper flakes. He goes, you're supposed to feel the heat. Feel the heat, son. I go, all right, I'll feel the heat. And I'm just trying to sneak some, some pecorino. And he's like, nah, son, feel the heat, you know? <laughs> Man, so I feel the heat. I love you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> you feel the heat our whole life. I feel the heat. I love you, Dad. <laughs> Bro, what uh, do you think? What? What do you think about uh, cheese on seafood pasta? Yeah, what do you think? What do I think about cheese on seafood pasta? I mean, I like to put pecorino romano on all the pasta. So I'm always He put Pecorino Romano cauliflower rice the other day. He put Pecorino Romano. Pretty much everything. Uh, on stir fry, he's throwing Pecorino <laughs> Romano. This is That's the, crazy. This is the type of I Italian pretty much grew up putting it on everything, which is wild. But yeah. I mean, this is what you get. This is, yeah. yeah are we, I'm we're probably, probably a fourth and fifth generation. I do have a lot of Italian. cousins. We call, I don't know their names. I just call them cuz. So you just didn't want to learn their names? Nah. Some cuz. It's everyone's just cuz. I go on a party. Hey, cuz, what's up, cuz? You living good? You heard about cuz? Of course. We just throw cuz around, with, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You use cuz for like a friend. Like, yo, what's good, cuz? A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we call, everyone in my family just calls each other cuz. What, well, C-U-Z? Though. C-U-Z. Okay. My cousin lives next, lived next door to me growing up, too. You know his name either? No, I do. Oh, that one you know. I do. It's the same as my father. Oh, so you couldn't forget it? No, I couldn't forget it. Also, there's 17 Anthonys in my family. That's like us with Michael. Really? Yeah. Was the grandfather, Anthony, and everybody. Like, did your family follow the tradition of naming the eldest boy after the father? Um, No, because my grandpa's name was Carmine. And they didn't like Carmine? Nah. Are those two Italian? Yeah. You think Carmine's the most Italian name in the world? No, it's Sabina. No, what are we Sabina. talking here? <laughs> no, but- I feel like that was a trap. I mean, <laughs> I feel like, uh, I mean, who they, has the best growing up podcast, Italian? <laughs> who has no, the best podcast, growing up Italian? Tell me right now. You know? No, because because the reason why I say that is because Sebastian Maniscalco made a joke about how Italians don't play basketball. He's like, you never hear Carmine shoot the three. Oh my uh, god, so, I did. I, yeah. I used to hear because I grew up a Carmines. Were so, they good three point shooters or no? Nah, it was all Michaels, you know? They all. made more fresh mozzarella and stuff like that. Jesus, my I love my sister had a fresh mozzarella station at her at her wedding. They're doing the fresh mozzarella. and my other sister was gonna get married. Did you get your envelope worth? Oh, like definitely. Months? Yeah, definitely. So you you were like a loss on the ledger. Yeah, they yeah, the the place got <laughs> fucked. The place saw me <laughs> and they said, Jesus Christ, we're gonna need a mortgage. The fresh, the fresh mutts place. They're going to remortgage they, their they called very the, successful they, wedding business. They were going to remortgage yeah, yeah. the wedding business. And they probably <laughs> so this place called. They go, they we're going to need a hundred thousand down here. You we don't have enough milk to fucking all day. I stood there all day. I heard my sister cut the cake. I'm like, I'll do one more ball. <laughs> the, 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 the appetizer hour is over. I go, I'll tell you what's fucking over, okay? It ain't over till I sing. It ain't, it ain't over till I say exactly the fat lady. <laughs> that, that, I, I, my shirt was untucked. I was practically wearing a dress at that point. Jesus Christ. I really, I really go in with that kind of mentality at all. I'm like, okay. For a 100%. So this person probably paid this much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so want that? Gift, I want them to make sure they keep the gift. Yeah. But whatever they pay for me, that 2 two twenty, they need to take a loss. It's oh, only right. A hundred percent. If there's Peter Lugas there, I don't I'm not even a big Peter Lugas fan, right? But a lot of these like Jersey weddings, Stan Island weddings, they get Peter Lugas to do. I'll go give me give me a bunch. I'll just put it on a plate. I'll go, hey, eat some Peter Lugas. I'll tell like I'll be Peter Lugas eat. Just because I want to fucking get the money worth. Yeah, yeah. So my one sister had the fresh mutts. My other sister's getting married. A year a year in advance in the before the wedding, my mother's going. Sebastian. I go, what's up, Ma? She goes. Don't be disappointed when there's no fresh mutts at the wedding. <laughs> she goes, they're not making fresh mutts at the wedding. She was like warning me. She's she like, gave you a, a year's heads up. She gave me a year heads up that I'm not, wasn't going to be you eating fresh. Nah, no, no, there was. No, I no. ate plenty of balls on the way on the way to the right wedding. You know. You got a little. How you doing from Pastosa? hundred yeah. percent from Pastosa. Oh my god, that's you got a little. You know, come style from. Uh, I can't believe you know pastosas. Of course, of course you do. Of course, of course. Of course. Yeah, my yeah. my mom would be. My mom was on the phone for Christmas during COVID because they were mad COVID safe. 
being like, Pastosis, I'm begging you, please run out your raviolis. Please, we need them. We need shells. Like, my mom would beg them. And there was a guy that would finally do car service for my mother because she called so much. She just needed that pasta. Yeah. Yeah, my mom's like, I'll buy so many shells from you. How many does she get? I mean, she buys at least eight per person when we're rolling through. And with this so what twelve was Christmas of us, dinner looking like so. oh Christmas din- Christmas Eve, Christmas oh. Eve is nice. We do a cold antipast. Okay. Then we do clams. We do a clam, a clam and a clam dip. We do a linguine with like fish sauce and all like all that stuff. We do the scungeel. Then we do we go into dinner. We'll have stuffed shells, meatball, hot sweet sausage, brzeuts. I mean, excuse me. Um. Um, what's the meats that we have? Uh, this is on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Okay. Yeah, we eat meat. Do, yeah, a lot of people do the seven fishes. Yeah, you no. Do like five fishes and a couple of cows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My d- a couple of pigs. Yeah, a couple of pigs because we eat. Uh, what's the other uh, meat that you eat with the the sauce? Uh, brajol. Brajol. Yeah. I love brajol. How's your brajol? I, yeah, growing up, that's what, how, what my dad would say. He would come, my mom would go, go, go talk to your son. And then my dad go, hey, how's the old uh, Pishkadil? How's the old Brajol over there? You know? I go, good, dad, good. Uh, and it's, I, it's hanging. I'm, pa- I'm packing a cocktail, Frank, and he's calling it a Brajol. <laughs> so big, you got to tie it with a string to keep it together. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, Listen, nah. check these guys out on Instagram. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, Sabino. Leave us on the fucking it Brajol line. <laughs> I, I don't think Smash we was that. wild. Oh, my God. God. Listen. Yeah, this is growing up half Italian. It's, it's not even <laughs> we got two half Italians. Phenomenal. Yeah, not even New York is phenomenal. You guys are also performing Philly, Rhode Island, everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, we've yeah, been doing we're going a little northeast uh, situation. Yeah, so, so we'll be back in Philly. We'll be back. We'll be back all these spots. We're yeah, excited. yeah. So if um, you're uh, from some other place, let us know. We're trying to yeah, go all Boston, over the place. DC, yeah, yeah. Wherever my Kia Soul could get us. Yeah. <laughs> How many miles does it have before we go? Over a hundred thousand. Classic. Yeah. The I'm, storm last year. <laughs> there was that big ass storm. It took his car out for seven months. Yeah. Oh, but you saved some mileage. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. Was, rela- she was relaxing a little. She was. She, she did. She took some she time took, off. She took, she took a, a nap. nap. Yeah. She took a nap. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Every once in a while. Of course, I drove my dead grandpa's Crown Vic for a couple months. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>